Atlanta is on a mission to remove encampments and it wants to find housing for 1500 people within the next year. This week, organizers told 11 Alive they'd helped 19 people so far to find housing or get ready to move. Another 117 people have been placed in hotel rooms. Still, you don't have to drive around for long to see signs of homelessness. Yeah, that's right. 11 Alive investigator Rebecca Lindstrom wanted to know more about the people living in those tents unable to find a way home. <laughs> All of this is me. I guess my bedroom, and that's where I got the bed and the TV. I'd heard of The Hill, a large encampment tucked in the trees near Cheshire Bridge in Atlanta. But this was my first time visiting. This is pretty much just where I keep my dishes and where I wash my dishes at. One of the residents, Brandon, gave me a tour of his home, a compilation of tents and items salvaged from nearby dumpsters. Some people without a home are obvious on the street, under bridges, but far more live hidden in pockets of bushes and trees, creating unconventional and often controversial communities. I wanna get out. Every two years, cities count their homeless population. In Atlanta, of the roughly 2,000 homeless counted in 2022, the majority are adult black men. More than a third report a serious mental illness or substance use disorder. 12% are veterans. And only a third live here on the streets. But the tents you see are a symptom of something else, chronic homelessness. I think chronic homelessness is the revolving door of lacking any stability in your life. And that instability makes them the most visible and the most complicated population to reach. Like Rygart, the CEO of Must Ministry, says there's no quick fix. Sometimes social awkwardness, sometimes it's PTSD that keeps a person living in an encampment. There's chronic health problems, job loss, encampment cleanups, and theft that rob people of the documents they need to work. Because I fell in love with that man right there. And there's certainly a community of LGBTQ shunned by their family. My goal is to help people get housed. Thank y'all for letting me help. I love y'all. Tracy Thompson visits the Hill and other encampments several times a week, creating the kind of trust needed to begin working through the barriers. The meds happen first. And in the process of the meds happening, uh, the ID came fought, came through. Then once once that all happened, the, the, the job came. You are ready to have an apartment. Oh, I so am. I've been ready. Ready and working, but neither enough to afford an apartment in Metro Atlanta. Definitely not if you're making less than $10 an hour. Compassionate, consistent casework can help. But even with Atlanta's new $26 million campaign to close encampments, Tracy says they will always exist. So zero encampments isn't realistic. I don't think so. There's always going to be a part of our population that don't do well with being closed in. The rules, the regulations that come with housing. A very, very tough subject there. By the way, The Way Home is a New 11 Alive investigate series to examine the efforts from Atlanta to Athens to help those struggling to find stable housing.